Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to enable Ajax login and registration in your WPLMS site. So for this, you need to log in to your WP admin panel and go to the WPLMS options panel. And in the WPLMS options panel in the WordPress tab, if you scroll to the bottom, you will see a setting called enable Ajax registration and login. So if we enable the enable this feature for login only and if we save the setting now if we open our site in a logged out mode you can do this by opening your website in the browser incognito window or to a completely new browser now if you click on login and you'll see the login form if you click on login you'll see that we are no longer being redirect to the WP login page. Instead, all the validation is happening on the form itself. So if we simply type in a wrong user ID and password, so everything gets validated from the WordPress itself. So for a correct username, but a wrong password, you will see that we get the notification right in the form itself. And for the correct credentials, everything happens on the Ajax mode and you will be successfully logged into your website. So next point is if we enable, if we want to enable the login and registration both. Note that if we, right now if we click on the sign up page, it redirects us to a completely new page which is the registration page. Now if we enable the Ajax registration and login both and save the changes. So now if we reload the page and go to sign up, it's, it still redirects us to the registration page. So this is because we need to create a custom registration form in the LMS settings. So we go to the WP admin panel, LMS settings, registration forms area and we create a form and you can select various fields that you want in the form including the settings. We need to set the form as default. So this is done by clicking on the default button. So now if we click on sign up, we see that we get the login form with the register button and it is the same login form which is set as the default so for example you have multiple login forms so the default form will appear as the registration form when the ajax registration feature is enabled So another feature which has been added to the Ajax login and registration is the forgot password. So when you update your wipe course module plugin, you will get the option to import the email template for the forgot password, so which you can go to emails, all emails section and you will see that you have the forgot password email template imported here. So note that the forgot password, so note that the forgot password email template is available for both login mode and login and registration mode both. So now if we go to the login pop up and click on the forgot password and type in the email and click on get reset password. So we'll, it will send us a mail so which we can see here that we get the mail in this format and we can click on the icon and reset the password. So this is how the Ajax registration and login feature works. That's it from WPLMS Tutorials. Thanks for watching.